Dean from the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund. I'm the Outreach Coordinator and welcome to our Shining a Light um, segment. I want to welcome my friend um, Sodia Thomas from S&B uh, Catering Event Concept. Do I have that right, Sodia? I think no, it's I actually so Sadia. Sadia with S&B Event Concepts and Catering. Awesome. Welcome. Thank Sadia you so been, much. You're welcome. Uh, Sadia has been a friend um, to the fund and we, we wanted to kind of shine a light on her business today. We know that the restaurant industry has been, you know, hit tremendously hard by the COVID-19 segment. And we're shining a light, kind of um, paying it forward. So we'd love to hear a little bit about S&B. Well, S&B Event Concepts and Catering is just that, a family owned and operated uh, event planning and catering company. Uh, we specialize in all events, every size from two to actually 1,000. We are a full service catering company, so we can come to you or you can actually visit our boutique venue in Collegeville. Very cool. Kind of had a chance to spend a little bit of a time on your website, um, reading some of the, the testimonials. And aside from, you know, rave reviews about the food, um, hearing things that you're working with you, that you're caring, helpful and reliable, um, phenomenal and attentive. Um, not one size fits all. You really kind of personalize the experience for each person. Um, exactly. Tell us a little bit about the boutique style venue that you Oh, have. wow. Our venue, well, we actually started the business on the premise of family uh, style. So uh, I grew up in a home where all of us, we always had dinner together every, every night, and that was important. And then starting my family, I wanted to pass on that tradition because I loved it. And that's how we got the kids to kind of communicate with us. So we tried to empower that and roll that into our boutique venue. You'll see some of the photos here. It has a kitchen. It has a living room, it has a dining room, um, and we have what we call a bit of our family room. So one of the photos that you're seeing there, uh, you see the kitchen, you also see our little family room there, and then the dining room has a lot of the tables. In the living room, we can flip and, and actually um, convert the space to be anything we need it to be. But that was the premise of it, to actually give you the feel of kind of being at home um, and having not so much a house party, but still a house event. So uh, it's been great. We've had corporate events there. Um, we have a bar that you can actually use. We allow our clients to bring in their own alcohol. We are licensed and insured to pour. Um, we have two small offices in there as well. We do cooking courses. It's a lot of fun. We've had um, some, uh, what do you call the uh, uh, planting? So you can come in and learn how to make plants and um, I forget what, succulents. They're beautiful. And we, we've done team building events. We do mystery dinners that we have there. It's, it's been a great space to have. We've had corporate events down. Um, we've done some, um, what do you, uh, why am I drawing a blank right now? Scavenger hunts. <laughs> Our clients have enjoyed 50th birthday parties, anniversaries as well, um, and, many, and small weddings. So we do weddings there yeah. too. Yeah. Well, it looks, it's a beautiful space, you know, Thank seeing you. those pictures. And, you know, we've all kind of gotten used to the home environment yes. <laughs> these days, and we're not really sure um, what the future short term is going to be for large events. So having a space um, for smaller events, I would think would really appeal. Um, yes. once, once the world opens up to our new normal, that would right. be our a great space to kind of have a more personalized um, quaint event that feels like home. Yes, it can Very accommodate cool. up to about uh, 80 people. Okay. So if you're seating anything, we seat for dinner 35. But if we're having cocktail party, reception, things of that nature, we can accommodate up to 80. Great. Yes. Well, I want to turn the focus now. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting you through my friend uh, April Donahue through Community yes. Bank. That's how we were introduced. Yes, I we're remember. Also fellow Chamber of Commerce menu uh, members. Members. Mm -hmm. And what struck me about you, I, I think we came to you pretty close to 
the Taste event 2019. We'd really just been introduced. And you yes. said, sure, I'd love to do it. Yes. You know, helping families with children who are ill or disabled, you didn't hesitate. So tell me a little bit about what about the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund um, appealed to you? It was just that, Linda, actually helping family, helping people, helping those that need help. Um, being a woman, having children, I'm, even though I'm married, and having mar married families, period. It's just something, giving back to the community and to people who need help is always something that's near and dear to me. We've ra I was raised that way. Uh, I was always taught to give. You know, it's not necessary to get something in return, but when you give, you get more joy <laughs> out of giving than you do actually receiving. So April introduced me. I said, this is a wonderful way for me to be able to be a part of something that's larger than just me, myself. And I jumped on it and really have been enjoying being a part of it. Thank you for having me. Oh, so amazing. Such a generous mindset. And especially, you know, we're talking a little bit about COVID um, oh. and also how we can, you know, turn turn the table and um, support you even during this very trying time that you know you're struggling to keep your business afloat you are giving back to community first and foremost tell Absolutely. us a little bit about what you're doing for your community well for starters we're feeding the first responders so uh, we've had the opportunity to participate with the collegeville fire department with the trap fire department the ems along with the police departments and we're just letting them know that we appreciate you know the hard work they're putting their lives on the lines um, for us and for families in need and we thought you know what this is a great way to keep them energized and happy about what they're doing they really appreciate that someone's thinking about them too um, so it's it's been awesome uh, we're also actually going to participate with i feed you or it's a program with that kevin baker bacon is producing as well mm -hmm. yeah. so we're trying to participate with that we are on board with the daily bread community food pantry too so we donate food there and also manna on main street right here in lansdale as well we participate and donate with them as well so giving back to the community again is huge huge and people need help you know we're okay will we be okay i believe we will because giving of self, everything just seems to fall into place when you give. Sure, sure. People rem will remember those first responders, uh, long days Yeah. where, you know, some days if you weren't providing a hot meal for them, they may not be having it at the end of the day. And, and, and we're finding that to be absolutely true. So they are so grateful that we're doing it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So we're taking care of them at least twice a week. That's amazing. Really and I nice. believe you're right. You're right. Yeah. That will come full circle when we, oh. we, you know, resume, you know, a new normal in the, in the coming months. What that may be. Right. I have no idea. <laughs> I, know, I know. Well, let's focus on now. What can we do um, to support you? Wow. Um, again, helping with just this right here, having a little bit of advertisement, um, a little bit, you know, notar notarizing that we're in the community. We have a small business here. We're located in Collegeville. We're doing this home style comfort mood food dinners that we're running. Um, and I think that's important to the community as well, because uh, comfort is something that we all need right now. And the meals that we're providing, um, I think, are all those mom type meals that mom would make and kind of will bring the adult back to the childhood and actually in some give them a break too at the same token so we're running specials right now where it's pickup only curbside and that again is twice a week which may go to all week uh, we're looking at a menu that we can maybe incorporate for all week next week including the weekends um, but right now we have a meatloaf platter a chicken pot pie we're doing roasted chicken platters. We have pasta with uh, lasagna, sausage and peppers. And even for our vegetarians and vegans, we're doing uh, pasta primavera so that they can enjoy some as well of our food. That's great. It sounds like you've got a, a, a nice variety. I also like the fact that you can uh, pick your sides. You know, you pick your main and then you pick your sides, which is great. Yep. You know, and as, as one mom who has two adult children living back home, 
I got to tell you, I'm tired of cooking. <laughs> tired of cooking and washing dishes. So being able to mix it up um, and have some delicious food, I think appeals to a lot of folks. So we yes. want to help get the word out there um, with your number, uh, telephone number, your website, the variety of delicious foods. I think you're, you're located out in Collegeville. It, it is pickup only. Yes. But I know those of us are also cooped up in the home, just being able to get out and take a little bit of a drive Yes. during, you know, beautiful springtime where everything's in bloom right now mm -hmm. um, is, is not such a bad thing to break up the day. The so, day, exactly. And that's exactly what we're asking folks to do. You know what? You're bored anyway. Come on out. Take about a 20, 25 minute ride. Come pick up some great food. I have a special treat in there for you as well. <laughs> nice. um, and then, you know, take the drive back home. It's a lot of, it's a great way to, you know, like you said, change the, the day of being cooped up in the house. Um, just please wear your mask because <laughs> that's important. Yes, yes. I think, we, you know, we need to keep in mind um, the protective measures that we all want to take to keep yes. know, one another safe. So yes. I appreciate you giving that reminder out. And I know today is pickup day. Yeah. Um, we're, we're coming close to pickup time. Yes. So I want to really thank you for taking time out of your day. Um, thank you for all you've done for the families um, of the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund. We Our pleasure. really look forward to Taste 2021 and all being back together and celebrating. Um, so thank you for what you're continuing do, to do for the community as well. And we'll see you soon. I know I'll right. see you soon. Absolutely. Some of those great meals. So. Okay, great. Thank you for having me. And we're looking forward to 2021. <laughs> we'll, see, yep. we'll see you on the other side. You got it, Linda. Thanks right. so much. Have a great one. You too. Bye. -bye. Bye.